the top recent UFO-related news stories. In response to the National Defense Authorization Act, the National Archives has sent out a document instructing all government entities to provide them with their UAP-related documentation. This was expected, of course, but I do think it's going to be a benefit to the UFO community because it's going to allow us to be able to ask one organization where the historical records on UAPs are instead of going across the entire government. But I think that's something that they've already been doing because I recently filed three FOIA requests to three different organizations within the U.S. government, and each of them told me to contact the National Archives for their records. In a shocking turn of events, there were almost as many UFO-related commercials shown during the Super Bowl than there were cutaways to Taylor Swift. I still find it very interesting that UFOs have invaded the Super Bowl when not too long ago Steven Spielberg was instructed by NASA not to release Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Which goes to show you that the way that we would respond now to being told that we're not alone is probably completely different than how it was during the Orson Welles War of the Worlds radio broadcast. The Soul Foundation has just released all of the videos that they took during their November briefing. And if you follow my channel, those are required viewing. So make sure you go over to their YouTube channel and watch all of these talks. Speaking of talks, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to give my first ever talk at the Cosmic Summit 2024 conference in June. It's primarily focused on ancient civilizations, lost technologies, and megalithic structures, which I enjoy thoroughly. But they're having a few people come and speak about UFOs as well. So I hope you megalithomaniacs will come and join me because I'm going to be sitting in the crowd at every single one of those talks. Next, on Valentine's Day, several Republican members of Congress were briefed on UAPs by none other than Lou Elizondo, who wishes you all a happy President's Day. And during this 20-minute briefing, Lou was joined by a former member of the UAP task force, a former military fighter pilot, a former DARPA scientist, and a former political advisor for the Obama administration. And thanks to the reporting of Matt Laszlo, we got Representative Ralph Norman's thoughts on how the briefing went. The big takeaway for me is that when Laszlo asked him if Elizondo's briefing corroborated Grush's claims, he said absolutely. Speaking of claims, this Mexican pilot has stated that he saw a UFO fly over his plane that was twice as big as a city. Take it for what it's worth. And last but not least, this recently published heat map of UFO sightings in the United States was released that compiles data collected by New Fork between the years 2000 and 2023. Now that you're all caught up, give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.